hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding the second vault jump okay so you can select any of this vault jump for example i will try to add this jump three okay because this looks cooler than the vault jump two okay so now let me show you how you can create different type of wall jump so first of all select the animation on which you want to perform the parkour action i will select this one okay right here make this back into pose select original and then right here select the feet then click apply then if we play the animation as you can see now the player is jumping in the straight line if you notice okay and also we don't need to trim this animation since this is just the jump animation as you can see the player only jump but if you are using this second animation okay from this animation you need to trim the starting part okay i mean this this part a little bit okay and also from the end make sure that you trim the end part as well a little bit but i think the end is good so you don't need to trim that okay so now let's add this animation to the animator right here drag and drop it and let's name this as vault jump 2 or let's just say vault jump 1 okay and now before creating another parkour action for this first of all as you know that we now have two wall jump action and we want to play that two parkour action on these uh, obstacles okay so as you know that on this obstacle we will play the wall jump parkour action and then on this one we want to play the wall jump too okay so on this obstacle we need to change the tag okay so for example we will click on this add tag let's add another one and this will be by the name of barrier one okay so add barrier one and then add that tag to this one barrier one okay and once you add a new tag for this obstacle now let's go inside our scripts parkour action and right here let's create a new parkour action name this as wall jump one now in the barrier tag first of all add the barrier one tag and in the animation it is wall jump one so wall jump one and then we need to set the minimum height and maximum height so it will be basically similar to our wall jump okay which is 0 0.6 and 1.6 so 0.6 and then 1.6 that's it we need to make this as look at obstacle we will also allow target matching as you know that in this animation the player puts both of the hands okay in our parkour action we can't use both of the hands so we will just simply use the left hand or right hand okay then we need the start and end time so let's click on our animation again and let's see the start time so when the player start to put the hand okay if you notice it right here so maybe from 35 to 50 okay 35 to 50 we will uh, make the time or oh, okay or let's just say 55 okay so 35 and 55 so if you click right here we will say point 35 then right down below point 55 okay we might change these values but for now let's leave this as it is make sure that you add one in the c just as we did for our first one Okay, so now everything is set up let's click on the game and play it but before playing it let's actually click on the player and make sure that you add the wall jump one in the parkour actions so let's add the fifth one now drag and drop the wall jump one right there and make sure that it is right there okay 
and once you add that then click on the animator and right here make a transition to basic locomotion from wall jump one since we didn't add the transition so now when the player perform this the player will go into basic locomotions okay so make sure that you do these two things the first one is to add the wall jump one right here and then make the transition now let's go ahead and play the game so now if we get closer to this as you can see the player is performing that one and this one as well as you can see it is performing that animation perfectly fine okay or you can say the parkour action as you can see okay the player puts both of the hand on the obstacle okay if you notice it right here so now we add a new vault action and now if you want you can add the second vault action as well I have shown you how you can add that vault action so just simply make the rotation back into pose click on based upon set it to original and right here change this to feet click apply then go ahead and create a parkour action for this okay and add a different type of tag for this and if you want that the player perform the first one and the second one on the same obstacle then just leave the tag okay the barrier tag as barrier okay so then it will choose uh, one of the parkour action from that one okay so just simply create a parkour action add the animation like this and then add that parkour action right here and then you will be able to create your own wall jump okay i've shown you in this video how you can create your own wall jump so just follow these steps and add another wall jump now let's end this video right here